And welcome into sports, everybody. Cade McFarland alongside Dan Lindbald. Yeah, how about here that, huh? in San Antonio at the Alamo Dome, that? getting ready for the Alamo Bowl. Through many dangers, toils, and snares, we have already come, Dan and I. Uh, uh, some guy by the name of uh, Dan Lindbald had a credential and Imagine parking that. pass. Dan Lindblad did not, and so it put us a little behind today. But <laughs> here we are. We are ready for Oklahoma and Arizona. <laughs> Matchup of top 15 teams in the Alamo Bowl. Dan, you've been here for the last couple of days. How exciting is this for OU fans? We, we got a chance to talk to quite a few of them here in the last hour or so. The Jackson-Arnold era begins. That is huge. They're moving into the SEC. Final game before that. Chance to win 11 games. You can tell this fan base is fired up in general right. and then for tonight. Yeah, it's a huge change of the guard kind of game. Yeah. You know, the last game they'll be wearing that Big 12 patch. And then you mentioned Jackson Arnold getting his first college start in a huge setting with this being, you know, one of the top bowls of bowl season, excluding the playoffs. And then Seth Luttrell also coming in his first game as the yeah. co-OC. Yeah, that's Both huge. him and Arnold kind of fell into this thing at the same mm -hmm. time. And now they are pushing this thing forward at the same time as well. Uh, like I told him, we're, we're, we're both getting our first start together. So. Uh, it'll be an amazing time. Um, no one better to do it with. But like I told him, we got great playmakers around us, uh, great coaches around us that uh, um, are going to make place for us too. And so our job is to work as hard as we can and collaborate effort with everybody else and uh, do our job, uh, make the plays and, and manage the, the game that we're supposed to and um, let the guys around us make huge plays for us as well. So a huge stage for both of them, not putting too much yeah. pressure on themselves and making sure the team's still well involved. Has anybody ever represented better the city of Muskogee than one Seth Luttrell? Has anyone ever right? been more Muskogee than Seth Luttrell? I just love listening to the guys speak this week. And he is Oklahoma hearing, through and through. As accomplished as he was as a head coach at North Texas, that was a great run. To be here for it to matter that much to him that he's at OU, I think he's going to do a whale of a job. I think it starts tonight despite the fact that Arizona is a slight favorite. All right, let's transition, by the way, kickoff 815.